My name is Darren Hupke, and this is Pixels and Polygons. Welcome to another new episode of Pixels and Polygons. Uh, this time, I didn't forget to allow my guests to introduce themselves so uh, we get a chance to actually hear from who I'm talking to, and I don't have to awkwardly introduce them here on their behalf. Um, returning guest, Jeff, joins the show. Um, he is always great to talk to. Uh, we always have a good time and a good conversation together. And then a first-time guest, I uh, had recorded a few conversations with my wife, but uh, my wife, Nicole, will, is my second guest on this episode. Um, with the two of them, I chatted about uh, video game music questions, um, just kind of some uh, thoughts on some soundtracks or some songs that really just kind of evoke some some good memories or good emotion or things that are just memorable to us. So uh, it was really cool just to kind of think about the audio and the, the music side of things. I mean, um, you do hear there's one specific game I bring up in both conversations. Uh, there are many more. I was just uh, really kind of focused on like some heavy hitters. Uh, as we do this conversation with other guests down the road and um, in future weeks, months, or whenever it uh, reoccurs, uh, I'll definitely share my thoughts on other soundtracks and stuff that I, I have a fondness for. But yeah, um, a good soundtrack and a good score um, really helps create like a, a lasting love for a game, in my opinion. So uh, really thinking about those heavy hitters in your in your head, you know, what are the games that you have, you know, really fond memories of? I'm sure the music or, you know, the, the levels select sounds or uh, whatever it may be, um, those are probably some of the memorable moments for you, uh, I assume. Uh, anywho, uh, I have a conversation with Jeff first. Uh, after that, it is with uh, Nicole, and then uh, we kind of wrap up the episode. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you are digging it, uh, be sure to, I don't know, rate and review it. That's a thing that happens on podcast platforms. Um, but really just kind of share it. Um, social media, I'm at Darren Hupke on a lot of things. Um, if you want to like tag me or, or share it with friends, um, that helps. And if you want to like interact with me or ask questions or uh, get in touch, uh, reach out to me. I'd love to kind of chat and see if you all are enjoying this. I'm enjoying doing it, so I'll keep doing it. And uh, hopefully other people are enjoying it as well. Thanks. Enjoy the episode. All right. Um, well, I've been screwing up and not having people introduce themselves with each segment. So I know you've already introduced us a little bit, but just, you know, hey, how about you give us a little introduction? Who are you? And then um, answer this question, random question off the top of my head. What is your favorite video game map? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, oh, like now we're starting to record now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that... Yep. Uh, okay, that's awesome. fine. Uh, I'm yeah, ready to go. I'm, this is a well-oiled machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just ready to go. Yeah, let's let's do it. Um, video game map. Okay, uh, I'm I'm Jeff uh, Jeff Almaranto. I am a dancer uh, and filmmaker in uh, Chandler, Arizona. Um, question mark? Uh, question mark? Yeah, Chandler, Arizona. I forget. I, I've moved a lot in the past, like two, three years. Uh, I was Mesa, and then I was Gilbert for a while. And, I dance in Coolidge now, so it's like, it's like a lot of different things. Yeah, oh, it's the worst. It's the actual worst. And I can't wait for my next competition to be done, uh, so I can take a break and play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. Um, but favorite map? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it doesn't have to be a particular reason or anything, but just you know, is there a map that you enjoy in a game? It's a map I enjoy. Um, lately, I've been playing a lot of Valorant. Uh, <laughs> online, uh, online shoot shooter made by Riot. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the new age CS, different CS. Uh, but um, I like the map 
Ascent. <laughs> I play that often. Yeah, it's a it's a good game. That's that's my uh, that's my main game I've been playing recently. Your, your just main. yeah, just jumping in and getting my butt whipped all the time. <laughs> it's awful. I hate it so much, but hmm. I want to get better. I heard lots of people talk about it. I am just not the person for like a competitive shooter. Like I don't. I guess the last one I really tried was Overwatch, but I really was more drawn to it because of like playing with friends and like you know i didn't mind kind of getting oh, sure. worked but then it did feel good to win and you know have some tough battles and stuff but i don't know i just can't ha- i just can't hang with the the competitive shooters anymore yeah yeah i get it uh, us old guys huh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm trying to keep up uh but it's tough man it's tough when you're getting wrecked by little kids and they're calling you dog water. It's dog water. The worst okay. It's the worst feeling ever. Yeah, it's, it's not a... good for your mental health. But I'm trying to be better. A slightly yeah. cleaner insult than maybe the Call of Duty crowd. So I guess there's, yeah, that's, I guess that's plus. fair. Yeah, yeah. I'll Sorry. take less racist uh, <laughs> than anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. Well, um, today we're gonna answer. Um, a question around like video game music and everything, and oh so my gosh. if you've thought about it, like what is a game soundtrack that takes you back to when you first heard it, or maybe like it could be a little bit less, but what is a game soundtrack that just like evokes some emotion for you and and oh, for sure. is solid? Yeah, no, uh, there's a lot. I was I was really really thinking about this question on the drive home today. Uh, immediately, I thought of the Tony Hawk's soundtrack, the the first two games, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Uh, being so young at that time, I grew up listening to a lot of R&B music, so that was kind of my first introduction to rock music. So I was just out there, fraud, uh, didn't realize that like my music taste was based off of a video game. Uh, but... But that's not my choice. I, I think the the real the real only choice for me is the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. I mean Nobu Yamatsu. He's incredible. You, you ever seen that meme? Ever seen that meme of it's like when Phil Collins did the Tarzan soundtrack and it's just a picture of a piano on fire? Like that's 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 what I <laughs> that's what I imagine the soundtrack. It's it's insane. It's actually insanely good. Yeah, like seven is like that's like my like for sure too. Like I mean, I could hear any song from there, like the Turks theme or and Cos- just call it. Yeah, like Cosmo <laughs> Canyon. You know, like I mean, just like yeah. anything. And it's just great. I'm playing through like Rebirth currently, and so hear- hearing like these updated scores to like like these areas, and it's just like not only is it nostalgic because I feel like I'm feeling what these characters are feeling, and I'm going through like yeah. all those emotions, but like I'm feeling emotions from when I was, you know, a young kid playing it for the first time. Oh, and, like, for sure, being yeah. taken back. Um, yeah, that's rad. What's your? Uh, what do you think your favorite song is off the the soundtrack, or what is oh, one that my like, gosh. You, you love it when it's on? Oh my gosh, there's uh, um, there's so many. Uh, I love the main theme. I think the main theme is uh, just perfect. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but I also really love, um, it's called Ahead on Our Way. Um, I really, really love that one. And, and who doesn't like, who doesn't go crazy for One Wing Angel? I oh, mean, yeah. when, yeah. when that comes on, I mean, I, I get a little bricked up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Goes, goes a little crazy. It's yeah, insane. The, the One Wing Angel is great. I mean, but like the standard battle music and boss music are both great. Like they get you pumped and everything, but that... Yeah, one wing oh, angel, sure. like you know, like sets Insane. sets a mood and a tension in a in a draw. That's yeah, that's great. Insane, yeah. I remember freaking out when they when they did the announcement for Sephiroth for uh, oh, Super Smash, Smash Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And the music comes on, and there's just literally videos of people just insane, going insane. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, that's it's cool. iconic. Um. All right. Well, that's that's fun. Yeah. Um. I'm piggybacking off that, but I do have another one um, yeah, 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 that I can sure. share. But but before I do that, actually, Tony Hawk One and Two, like what are what's like top three songs for you off those soundtracks? <laughs> um, okay, so for me, uh, I really I really like Superman. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't yeah, I, I hate play. I hate that that's like uh <laughs> like that's the one I I don't mind I feel it. like that's the one I feel like that's the one and every time I hear that I I, I like to put it in random playlists uh, yeah. all the time and then it just kind of shows up out of nowhere and immediately 
immediately makes me happy. Yeah, I think for Tony Hawk 1, that's got to be, like, the most memorable one, as much as I, like, love it or hate what's, it. What's your favorite one? Um, I mean, I like the, uh, like, uh, the Dead Kennedys police truck on Tony Hawk 1. I really like oh, that. Oh, police truck, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know why. I don't really, I never was a Dead Kennedys fan or anything, but I, I just like nah. that because it's vulgar, you know, in it, and there's, like, some omitted <laughs> lyrics, and so, like, hearing what those lyrics... How old were you when lyrics... that game came out? Tony Hawk 1, I think I was... Gosh, I want to say seventh grade. So what's the math on that? Okay. I don't know what the math of that is. Uh, <laughs> 90, 98. I was probably like 12, 13. Like 12. 12 13. 11, 12. Okay. 11, 12. Yeah. Okay. I was a lot younger. Um, yeah. Yeah. That not was that much, but that, that, that definitely springboarded me into like getting into punk music and everything too. Like, yeah, that, I for was sure. going to say, I like, was like, were you listening to a lot of punk music before? No, or? not before that. No, like that definitely exactly. was like a big exposure like to it. Yeah, and so yeah. that I used that. Tony Hawk did it for me. Yeah, you you like you listen to one band, and then like uh, uh, my friend Austin and I, we talk about this a lot. But you'd go, you'd buy a CD, and like in like the liner notes, they would think bands, yeah. and then so you'd be yeah. like, then you'd, you'd like, oh, I've seen that band name like two or three times from different other bands I like. So let's buy like a CD from them next, and like yeah. like pre-internet days for us, like that's how we kind of like stumble and discover music and stuff. So the yeah. um. The ability the, uh, OG to OG Spotify suggestions, Apple Music suggestions. Yeah, that that was for me. That was um, like Tony Hawk was like, okay, well, here's a good chance to like sample some things. Like rather than you know, eventually it became like a punko rama from Epitaph to like find new things. But Tony Hawk <laughs> yeah. was the first version of that for me. Oh, for sure, yeah. For and sure. then, um, so have bad. you seen the videos of like um like Tony Hawk uh, performing with Goldfinger and like, covering and singing? Superman. Oh my gosh, no! Oh man, look it up on the internet. It's <laughs> iconic. It's, it's crazy how iconic. it's like just full circle for him and then he's even done one it was i think it was during like covid times um but he did uh, from tony hawk 2 one of my favorite songs no cigar by mill and colin um, oh yeah that was actually the second one was yeah the yeah that's that's a good one i will actually listen to that actively as just a fan um, as an adult <laughs> yeah but there's a video of tony hawk covering that and um like steve caballero like plays guitar and i think like the oh, bass, no the way. bassist That's from sick. mill and collins actually just playing bass for it and i don't yeah. know who's drums but it's like a weird who's like, your little... who's your main in tony hawk pro, pro skater um i mean i always what like, character did you main in tony hawk 2 i like the creative skater feature you know because you can kind of make your own but like i was a bob ah. burnquist bob bob burnquist bob like the one-footed <laughs> one-footed smith grind that he had um <laughs> yeah that was that was cool, and I think it was obscure because yeah, nice. one of his special moves was um, like a lip trick. The okay, what was it called? Oh the burn yeah, twist yeah. Or something. Yeah, it, yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. super difficult to pull off, and it really wasn't. I remember, worth it. I remember, but, I um, hated it. Yeah. yeah, but I was like, oh, this is cool because he's the only one who's got this. So this is that my has guy. it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And I do always remember thinking if I was ever going to buy a, a skate deck. Um, it would be like a one from like the firm or something like that. One of the ones that he had that was he was sponsored <laughs> by. I don't know why. Yeah, it was like this yeah. branding that like was just etched into your your head as a kid. It's like this is my oh, favorite guy. Sure, yeah. So this is my favorite gears. Yeah. This is my favorite stuff. This is that's it. Yeah, that's sick. That's cool. That's um, sick. Yeah, a game that I had that I think that I would well, I would share um, that can you know evoke some emotion or takes me back. Uh, the Mega Man yeah. Two soundtrack. Like from, oh my gosh! Like those bleeps and bloops just... from the NES were like. But really rocking. true bangers. Yeah. True bangers. Um, who's who's your favorite boss music? See, I don't I stage, who's stage music? I don't know. I mean Airman uh I don't like, they're all it's all good. You know, like yeah, there really, really isn't about and even like the in between like level stages and like little like uh uh you know dun 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 like all the little like yeah. fanfare they have in that game. Like it just it's just good. It's just it really rad and i've even i don't really like actively listen to video game soundtracks outside of like final fantasy 7 or final fantasy 11 yeah. i can put those two mm -hmm. on it and if i'm yeah. interested I, I, but um yeah me too um that there was a band and i think they're actually from here in arizona um and i don't know if they're still around but this, this would have been like you know 10 15 years ago but they're called mini bosses and they cover oh. a bunch of like old nes game like soundtracks they oh, just play sick. it it's like yeah. a, a musical instruments and like live and everything and um they did a bunch of Mega Man songs and like a whole like uh medley so of good. songs but like with good drum bass and guitar just like as a live sound um That's and it was always cool I would to go to that concert to that. for sure yeah I've never gotten to see yeah. him live I've always like thought like yeah that'd be rad that'd to be do so sick there's some other bands I need to remember the name of it too maybe if I do remember it in time they do a I bunch of covers this, yeah. we'll they do it but they have a, a live person play the game they're scoring 
on stage. Oh, that's sick. So they, there's a person like speed running the game, and they're playing <laughs> the music stupid. for the stages as they get through it. I'm like, that's rad. That's the collab of a lifetime. Yeah, I, I would too. No, definitely. Isn't it sad um, that Mega Man isn't really a thing anymore? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that awful? <laughs> that's so sad. It's I know Kiji he... and Afune did like Mighty Number no. Nine, right? Yeah. He... But that was not what and it anybody was wanted. Not great. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then like I don't know, they did do that like Mega Man nine and ten, and it felt felt like that yeah. had like a little bit of resurgence, but now those are both like a decade old or more. Yeah. No, so yeah. it's really not a thing. But yeah. you know, we'll always have Mega Man two. Yeah. <laughs> At least. <laughs> um, but cool. Well, uh thanks for answering that video game music question. I think these are fun. Yeah, ones thanks for having me. Um, so we will we will chat again uh, soon in the future for sure, Jeff. See ya. So, um, Nicole, I would like you to introduce yourself just so, you know, if you were a podcast listener, you'd kind of know a little about who's talking, you know, maybe what are, you know, how long do you think you've been playing games for? Maybe what's a, a top favorite game of yours? Doesn't have to be your most favorite, but just something people know you by. But also, tell me your favorite video game villain. Um, I. I don't know if I have a favorite game villain. Um, maybe Time. <laughs> time would be a villain because of some of the games that I like, you know, just like overall, like I think sometimes with certain games, like, you know, you're kind of racing against the clock. Um, and so I would say Time. But I just want to like touch on one thing that you did say like lifelong gaming partner. I think it's more like you're the gamer and I'm the partner that watches you play games all the time. And I think that it's so funny because sometimes I could hear someone talk about a game and and I'll say like, oh my gosh, I love that game. Oh, you know, like when you're fighting all those Valkyries for God of War, like that was probably like one of my most favorite games watching you play. Um, but I, I don't consider myself a gamer because I don't even play a fraction of, of video games or anything like that. So, um, I'll, I'll say I'm a casual player. I don't know. I just wanted people to maybe get an idea of you and kind of set it up. So I'm also already <laughs> forgetting cause I'm trying to multitask here as well. Uh, that's, that's okay. We can get into it though. We, we picked music is this episode's topic, but what is the question or prompt you want to bring to discuss? And then um, I'll let you uh, answer first, and then when you're done, I'll give you my my thoughts or commentary on it. Uh, my question is, uh, is there a game that you just, like, absolutely love the music, and you can, like, hear it at any given moment, like, at any time, and think back to, like, when you first heard that song or, you know, you were first introduced to it. I guess I'll go ahead and answer first. So it's funny how you talked about the SP because that's what I want to talk about. And I think of it almost as like Pandora's box of like, you know, you're opening that SP and you hear that little chime, that Nintendo chime, and it's like, what are you going to do? I mean, given like, I probably hardly ever heard that chime because I never turned it off because it had an amazing battery and you could just clamshell, like close it. Um, But the few times that I did turn it on and off, like that little chime was like, it was just like so exciting. Um, But as far as like the music goes, I will say like uh, the Harvest Moon game that you introduced me to. And I thought that was really cool. Um, Just going around a town and 
really just you know, doing your daily duties, talking to people, making friends, relationships, um, but the the sounds and the the music behind it and how it would change, or even just like the sounds of like nature, like when it was nighttime, like you could hear the waves crashing and and things like that. Um, so I would say that music and uh, Legend of Zelda: A uh, Link to the Past. Um, what is another one for me that it's just like so exciting. I'm like, oh my gosh, I remember like staying up so late at night, just, you know, playing the game and almost pretty much falling asleep while playing a game. And you, you're kind of, you're still hearing the sounds, but you're like asleep, but it's just kind of like all the music and everything gets kind of ingrained in your head. Um, but yeah. That's what I was just thinking about, like the music. What about you? Yeah, um, the harvestman. I'm gonna probably, with the magic of editing, like cut in the the walking around music. That just because that is good music. And I, I'm I'm trying to think if that was in the same because the Friends of Mineral Town game, Game Boy Advance game, was like a semi like remake re-release of the back to nature which was on the original playstation and it was like the same town layout and same characters and stuff but i'm not sure if it had like the same music so i'd be curious to go back there but friends of mineral town for me um uh, i do love that music and everything but i guess because i play a lot of games um the one that i instantly jumps out and like i don't want to always just have like the easy softball answers i think hardcore gaming People like my age will probably say this and agree with this, but like Final Fantasy VII, to me, um, I, I can hear that soundtrack. And that has hatred? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, you don't like that game because you couldn't beat the first boss. You know, attack when its tail is up, and it will counterattack with this, and you didn't. Re- the way that it was displaying it in two sentences, two prompts, you thought, oh, I'll just attack it, and you somehow died on <laughs> the guard scorpion. Um, but yeah, that music is just, um, I mean, that game is like my favorite game of all time. And it's because it was, I was at the age, like I understand what it is. It's nostalgia. And just like, that was the game for like the age and the discovery and, you know, all those types of things like that a lot of people have, you know, like people, you remember their first crush or their first whatever, you know, that type of thing. Like that's that first RPG for me that did that. And luckily it was like a huge one, but um, it was very epic and had so many like songs. Um, I guess that would be it then. That would be uh, that I don't really have like a follow up or anything that that sparked in me. So um, yeah, I do kind of want to. I wanted to kind of add something, just like as you were just mentioning right now um, about Final Fantasy VII, which I already said that I don't like. Um, but the fact that you're mentioning all these different tracks throughout the entire game, and so you have this like really beautiful soundtrack of music, um, I never experienced that game specifically, but for me it would probably be like Final Fantasy XI, where we kind of just really got totally like sucked into it. And I said goodbye to anybody in my life because that was my life. Um, the fact that you say you like randomly hear Final Fantasy VII, I listen to the soundtrack for that game like all the time. It's it's probably it it's always on shuffle in my music on you know um, on Apple Music because it's just like. It's just so nice. Like, I'll randomly, like, hear a song, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, where's my chocobo? I should be running through a field right now. Um, But, you know, I'm not. I'm in my car, and I'm driving to the store or something. Um, But, you know, just the fact that, like, we have all of these songs available to us on all these different types of platforms makes it really cool to give you, like, those little bursts of nostalgia throughout your day. And, or your week or your month and you know kind of puts you in those like feel good uh, moments we aren't the uh, the soundtrack like 
family or soundtrack couple. I mean, we just listen to like music and our niche bands, and, and you have more of a palette than I do. Um, but I think that's the only video game soundtrack that we've ever purchased between the two of us. Like, uh, we had, I think we found that like import, like Final Fantasy XI soundtrack at Frankenstein's or something like years yeah, ago. Something like that. And that's, we had that on our old iPod forever. And so that's why even now, that, like, since it's in our music library from like iTunes Match and stuff, that will randomly come up for shuffles for me and hearing the like Saru Tabaruda theme or uh, field music and all that stuff, you're just like, oh, yep. And you're instantly in that game space or in that that moment of time, which was a good moment of time. It was paycheck to paycheck poverty, but it was also just like, you know, roommate, you know, like lifestyle and our first MMO experience and the first big game experience. So um, that's always because that, that music is ingrained with like a lot of like life memories of the time of like more first. I think it's firsts because that was like our first time living on our own, our first time like living with roommates and our first time playing games, a game like that. And that was our first time like cooperatively. Like we got, it started with me getting that as a birthday gift from you, you getting hooked to it. And then we had to buy a whole separate account so that I could also play and then that caused our good friends um, to get in. Probably Thomas was next, but then he convinced a few others. And we eventually had like four or five people we knew in our little like friends, like apartment like group. A full party. Yeah, which is almost like a full party. We basically had enough to, to essentially that. And then as life went on and it came out on the Xbox 360, and that game generationally like stretched out head legs, um, which was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that game's pretty big. I guess if I was to say music wise, for sure, like that's my number two, like, like seven is my number one that I remember and, and have like, I can be transported back, but 11 is definitely both Final Fantasy titles for me, I think for sure. Cool. That, that was it. This was fun. All right. Uh, well that's another episode of Pixels and Polygons. I should say, say the name more just to make sure that, uh, it settles and becomes a thing. Um, Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, catch you on the next episode.